Paul, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. You were involved in that 2011 final, weren't you, as a coach? What do yeah. you remember? Yeah, well, it was uh, literally a game of two halves for us. We got out of the block so well. We were really accurate. We were, we were dynamic, but we scored right before half-time. And then, I think, in the act of scoring, Dylan Hartley got knocked out. Um, and then the changing room at half-time was, was almost a funny place, really, because there were only 10-minute half-times. Um, and Dylan being treated and not speaking was a rarity in, in that team. So uh, what happened in the second half was a um, sensational comeback for them, but disaster for us. Saints have won the, won the championship before. You were a player. You actually scored all of the points in that game. And there were a lot of leaders in that team. What do you remember of that final in 2000 against Munster? Yeah, it wasn't a lot of points. It was only nine. We, we, we won 9-8. Um, it was pretty open, to be honest with you. It was the, it was the very last game of the season. Um, we just missed out on the league. We'd got beaten by Wasps in the final of the Domestic Cup. We were running on empty. Uh, Matt Dawson had dislocated his shoulder. Nick Beale had broken his leg. Pat Lamb was held together by sellotape and string. But I think there were a generation of players there, really. Myself, Tim Rodberg, Gary Pagel, uh, Pat, as I've already mentioned, Alan Bateman, and those other guys who didn't play, um, who knew that it was probably our, going to be our only shot. And the night before, team room, Pat Lamb's motivational speaking was just sensational. So we managed to hang on in the end. Ronan O'Gara didn't have his finest day. None from four, I think he was, uh, off the floor. Um, we rode our luck a little bit, but in front of 68,000 people at Twickenham, it was, a, it was a mega day out. And Saints now, top of the Premiership, two wins from two in the Heineken Cup. Their fortune seems to have changed a bit. You know, they seem to be getting back on top, on top of things. What do you put that down to? Yeah, the uh, tremendous influence of, of Chris Boyd uh, as, as an appointment, Mark Darwin, the CEO and the board. Um, they get grief when things don't work, but when things go well, they, they, they need the praise because they found the right man. Chris has been sensational in, in turning around the, the culture at the club and the appetite to play rugby in, in the right way. It's built on high skill. Uh, decision making, pace, and the, the whole culture of the place has, has turned around. And, you know, 2011 and, and into 2014, Northampton were riding high, uh, and then took a wrong turn. Um, but the recovery's just been unbelievable, and, and those young lads given an opportunity to uh, to soar. And your son James um, now involved with, with with the setup and getting some game time as well. Is he going to be as good as his old man? Yeah, he's probably he's better than me already. I, would, I mean, he's he's um, since he could walk, he's had a rugby ball in his hands and it's all he's ever wanted to do. So uh, it's not been straightforward for him to get where he's got. But the, um, the good news is he's, he's worked his backside off for everything he's achieved. And he's in an environment where he gets to learn from, from quality players, from you know, Dan Bigger as an example to any young player. He works as hard today as he ever has. Um, so it's, it's superb for James to be involved in that and to, to get games here and there and the opportunity to, to prove yourself. European giants, Leinster, coming to Franklin's Gardens this weekend. Confident? Uh, never confident against a team with the quality that they've got. Um, playing at home is fantastic, but uh, they bring absolute quality and have set the standard, along with Saracens in Europe, over the last few seasons. So um, Northampton will have to be absolutely on it if they're going to get anything out of the game. But both teams play attractive rugby, so it should be, um, should be a spectacle.